I'm going to ask any kids, if you're in here, if you're a kid, we're not talking about like 65 year old kids mentally <laughs> who think they're, you know, hip and everything. We're talking about real kids. Uh, come on up, we have a special message for you for the next couple of minutes. While they're getting settled, I'll introduce myself. Good morning, my name is Miss Danya. That's what the kids call me. I am the preschool leader here at um, Calvary Bellflower. And uh, I'm here to tell you a story this morning. But I have a question for you first. Um, what day is it today? Easter. Easter. And what is so special about Easter Sunday? Just everyone tell me. God. Jesus is risen. He's alive. And where are you right now? Church. You're in church. Well, you know what? I have a story to tell you. You have the privilege and the freedom of coming to church and celebrating that Jesus is alive. But you know what, boys and girls? I'm going to tell you a story about a little boy named Johnny. Maybe he's like middle school age. And he lived in a country far, far away where it was he couldn't go to church. He wasn't allowed to have a, he wasn't supposed to have a Bible, and he wasn't supposed to tell anybody about Jesus. If he did any of those three things, he could go to jail. But you know what? Somewhere, somewhere, someone gave a Bible to Johnny and told him about Jesus. And Johnny chose to accept Jesus as his Savior. So he secretly carried his Bible with him wherever he went. He had a little backpack that he carried, and he'd always put his Bible in there. And he loved Jesus so much that he would go to school, and after school he'd go to the park, and he'd gather whatever friends he could around him, and he'd pull his Bible out of his backpack, and he'd tell whoever would listen to him about Jesus, and what Je Jesus' miracles, and how much Jesus loved them. Well, one day when Johnny was at the park, he heard this sound. And along came a police car, pulled up, and all the kids heard the noise, and they jumped up and they ran, because they didn't want to get taken to jail. And Johnny's sitting there on the bench with his Bible in his lap, and here comes the sheriff out of the car. And he says to Johnny, Johnny, you know it's illegal in our country to have a Bible and to tell anybody about Jesus. Because you're doing those two things, I'm taking you to jail. So the sheriff took Johnny, put him in the police car, and hauled Johnny off to jail. Johnny's sitting in the jail cell. He's all sad because, number one, he doesn't have his Bible, so he doesn't have anything to read, and he doesn't have anybody to tell about Jesus, and so he doesn't know what to do. Well, the sheriff felt a little bit sorry for him. I mean, he was just a kid after all. So the sheriff said, I'll make you a deal, Johnny. If you can make a cross making only one straight tear in a piece of paper, I'll let you out of jail, I'll give you your Bible back, and I'll let you tell me about this Jesus of yours. And Johnny's eyes lit up, he said, okay, okay, give me some newspapers or some paper or something. So the sheriff brought him a pile of newspapers and all day long, Johnny sat folding papers and tearing papers and trying to make a cross, and he was having no success, he was getting discouraged. Well, finally he remembered, as he was sitting there, when he was a, a little guy, like your age, in elementary school age, he used to make paper airplanes. So he started folding his paper to make a paper airplane. He was just kind of bored at this point and trying to pass the time. So he started folding his paper like this. He folded it in half, fold down the wing, Pull down the other side of the wing. Then he tried to fly it. Didn't fly very good, so he's like, this thing is a piece of junk. So he started to rip it right in half. He was so discouraged. And then he began to look at the pieces and he said, hey, wait a minute. I just made one tear in a piece of paper. Let's, let's see what we've got here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, half a cross. Um, no? Uh, I don't know. No, not that one either. Oh, but I can't even get this one open. There we go, not that one. He came to the last piece. Oh, look what he did. 
So you know what you do? He said, tear, tear, tear. I did it. I made a cross making only one tear in a piece of paper. Now you have to give me my Bible back and I get to tell you about Jesus. And this is the story using all these pieces of paper that Johnny told the sheriff about his Jesus. I'll put them up here so you can see them. He told the sheriff, you know what? Jesus was born, we celebrate his birthday at Christmas, and he was the son of God. And he grew up, and he never did anything wrong. When his parents told him to clean his room, he cleaned his room. He shared his toys. He never fought with his brothers and sisters. He was kind to everyone. He never did anything wrong. But you know what? As he grew up, the people didn't believe that he was God's son. And so they nailed him to a cross and they stuck the cross in the ground. And they buried and they, um, they crucified him between two thieves. And this one thief turned to him and said, If you are the Son of God, then you get yourself down off the cross and you get me off this cross and you prove it to us that you're the Son of God and you have power. But he really didn't believe that Jesus was God's Son. He was just mocking him. And this thief turned away. This thief turned toward Jesus and he said, Jesus, I've killed people, I've stolen things, I've done terrible things, and I know you haven't done anything wrong. Will you remember me when you get to your kingdom? And Jesus looked down at this thief and he said to him, Today you will be with me in paradise. And you know what that man received? What letter is this? What letter is this? Whoops. Thank you, Sam. Ah, someone's ahead of me here. What letter? S. Yes, that man received life. You know what John 3.16 says? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him will not perish but will have eternal life life. Well, you know what? There was another man on the cross over here, wasn't there? He turned away from Jesus. And when you reject Jesus, there's also a place that you go. Can you tell me what letter that is? Mm -hmm. How about that one? You think that's a bad word? That's a, it is a bad word. It's a bad place. It's a place where there is no God. And you have to live forever and ever and ever not in the presence of God. And boys and girls, I want all of you to realize that every single person has to make a choice. Whether to accept Jesus and receive life or to re reject him and spend eternity apart from God in hell. And you know what, boys and girls? The reason that we get to go to heaven is this. This is what we're celebrating today. They put Jesus in a tomb and they put a stone across the tomb. But count with me to three. Ready? But in one, two, three days, the angel came and rolled the stone away and Jesus was resurrected and he became alive. He conquered sin and death and that is why he can offer us eternal life and at the end of this message Pastor Mike is going to have an opportunity if there's anyone here today who's never asked Jesus to be their savior big boys and girls or little boys and girls if there's anyone today that needs to make that decision Pastor Mike will be offering an invitation at the end and you can come down with your parents and someone will pray with you and ask, answer your questions okay thank you for being such a good audience very carefully so you don't trip over each other, you may walk back to your seats.